Good morning, Mission Control. Today, we've got a beautiful day. Uh, we had the week of rain last week and I got the ground all soft. Uh, it really scared me because that's how last winter started off. Big rainstorm and nastiness. So I fear that this winter is going to be just like last winter. Uh, so today, we're going to be installing Microgreen Road. Uh, enough time has passed. we got to get it done now. The fire really threw a wrinkle in our, our efforts here. Uh, selfishly so. Uh, lots of people are pretty pretty much in a bad spot because of that fire and here I am complaining about my road uh, so I recognize that but that doesn't change the fact I got to get it done before the uh, rain comes back and we can't get out to the building because our cars would sink uh, the dirt here is just that way in the summertime it turns into concrete and in the winter it's just a soup and uh, can sink a vehicle no problem in fact sometimes the tractor gets almost stuck in it so um, what we need to do today I'm going to stake it out, but we're going to roll out the uh, GOTK fiber, uh, fabric on top of this ground and roll it out. And we're going to be rolling it out as they bring the gravel. So uh, we're going to be putting some base rock down and then uh, some smaller rock on top of that uh, to really facilitate a, a nice drivable surface for us uh, throughout the winter time. So uh, I got to move some junk out of the way here. Uh, get the truck all moved and start rolling out fabric. Uh, they should be here in about 20 minutes and we'll start installing. So uh, hopefully we'll get this all done today. We'll see. Well, to those that have done this before, you're probably wondering why there's just a big pile here and why the driver didn't spread it out on top of the fabric. We're having a really bad day here at the ranch. Uh, I should say the Martian homestead, huh? So, the driver's coming up the driveway. He's delivered here many times before, made this drive many times before, and his axle broke right in the middle of the driveway. So we actually have a pup trailer now sitting in the middle of the driveway. We had to rip up some fence uh, so he could get in and out. I used the truck, my truck, to pull him up the driveway, which I was pretty impressed. A little Ford F-150 pulled up an entire dump truck. We were in the, in the zone, so I didn't get it on camera. I wish I would have. So the best we could do is get him up here, get him unloaded, get him back on the road so he can go uh, get the uh, axle broke. He still has another axle to run with, but um, He's gonna go try to get that fixed here today, but it looks pretty bad as far as today's work effort goes. So I'm gonna get on the tractor and see how much of this rock I can move. My little tractor only has a 600 pound lift capability, so getting some of this stuff's gonna be tough, but I think I'll probably be able to manage. Uh, in addition, the expedition that we bought yesterday, Mrs. Martian was doing her deliveries and she flipped it into all wheel drive on the fly, which we're supposed to be able to do. Something happened. And now we got a big transfer case leak. <sighs> it's not a good day. It's a beautiful day. I'm alive. I'm breathing. Uh, Living in a beautiful place, right? God has blessed me. In that sense, it's a beautiful day. But as far as the work and the cost and uh, the plan, uh, God is laughing at my plan right now. So, anyway, kind of depressing. Sorry, this is how I feel. Uh, you're getting the raw Jeff right now. Well, the raw Jeff probably would have had a few more cuss words in it when I was really lit and loose, but... Uh, anyway, I'm going to get on the tractor. I'm going to get this stuff spread out and recalibrate, see where we're at.
All right. Well, as far as what's going well today, I got the first load of rock spread out. It looks like our estimate of about five dump truck fills, uh, loads, excuse me, uh, is gonna be right on. So got the nice curve here, the drive out, connected to the main driveway there, start saving all this yard over here and just got to take it out to the barn. So uh, the next load is sitting right down in, uh, in the driveway. So let's go down there and look at it. All right, here's where the trebles began. You can see the, uh, the marks here in the driveway where his tires were spinning out because he lost the, uh, lost the traction in one of the axles. There's the trailer down there. What a, what a shame. I really feel horrible for him. We've been working on trying to get this gravel up here for so long and here it is on a Saturday and he's up here working and first thing that happens is he breaks the axle. Here's where the axle broke right there. You can see the oil. And then we disconnected the trailer but then got off side of the road there and because we only had the one axle it started spinning it's a cool trailer because uh, he can just connect onto it and get he can take off the the back of his truck and he just connects and pulls this one right off so he can dump them really uh, quite accurately we had to rip up our fence here so he could get by after we got him up top we got him up top uh, pull, using my truck and pulled him up. He had enough with my uh, four-wheel drive and then his uh, Axle we were able to get to the top of the hill I really wish I could have got that on camera because that would have been like the world's most awesomest Ford commercial F-150 pulls dump truck full of gravel all the way up to the top of the hill. That would have been awesome uh, That was a pretty cool part of today uh, trying trying to be more positive on What is turning out to be kind of a challenging day? So anyway uh, he's able to get the truck back to the shop, so that's good news. Uh, we're texting. There might be a chance he can make it back up here today. At a minimum, he's got to come up and get his trailer, so we might be able to get one more load done today. Uh, but we'll see. Um, it's going to be tough. Uh, go. got plenty of other things to do, so I'll go try to get some of that stuff done, see if I can't clear my mind.